yo, yo, another day, another adventure with your homeboy, Jermaine, and getting this vlog started off. Picking up a caviar delivery from a ghost kitchen. I just picked up the first delivery and uh, this pickup location is uh, this is a ghost kitchen what exactly is a ghost kitchen a ghost kitchen is a place where more than one restaurant can rent a kitchen and this location could be for delivery and pickup only I don't know if I'm explaining this correctly but it's like a kitchen that a restaurant can rent out from this other company yeah maybe i'll try explaining this a little bit later let me explain what a nine ghost kitchen is a nine ghost kitchen is when you go to a restaurant and you go pick the food up the only problems with uh, a restaurant that you go and you just pick the food up from if there's a lot of delivery people and there's a lot of people eating in the restaurant the kitchen's gonna be crazy busy because they can only make so much food so fast so a ghost kitchen is when a restaurant, a, a busy restaurant, rents out kitchen space at this other restaurant that's sort of like, uh, it's like a warehouse and it may be five or six or seven or eight or ten restaurants inside this one building and they sort of rent out this small space and they can prepare the food in the small space and they don't have to prepare that food at the restaurant so they could take all their delivery orders instead of have their delivery orders come to the restaurant when it's going to be really really busy on a friday night or a saturday night they can have the delivery orders go to the ghost kitchen and people like me can go to the ghost kitchen and pick up the deliveries instead of going to the restaurant when, it, when it's going to be really really busy at the restaurant on saturday or a friday night or something like that so ghost kitchens are pretty cool so just picked up this order let's go drop this one off really fast cross my fingers that it doesn't rain but anyway yo let's get this video started Delivery for Jermaine. Hey, how's it, it going? It is so cool <laughs> seeing you. I follow you on, you know, on YouTube. <laughs> yep, I'm just out delivering. Oh my God, you have inspired so much of my travels. <laughs> No, um, I, I've been following you for like a couple of years. You, that, that like all the travels, awesome. Really I want to awesome. travel now, but like I kind of want to stay here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, but you got me. I'm going to Singapore. I live in a couple of weeks. Singapore is so nice. Cool. It's so well, it's good. great meeting you. Yeah, for sure. It's always nice running into people. Absolutely. Hello. There you go. <laughs> Thanks, have a good day. You too. <laughs> oh my gosh, I really need to find an electrical plug. Locked, this one's locked. This is where we all meet for the skateboard meetups. 
this one's unlocked next things first we have to see if uh the power is on here we go let's see it's working good to go let's juice up let's charge we straight cool 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 already knocked out one caviar delivery i don't know if today is gonna be too popping too busy it'd be nice if it was but every day is hit or miss i definitely have another battery in my backpack but since this this since this battery is almost dead and i'm not on an order or i'm not doing anything else why not get a quick charge it's so beautiful out right now Nice. All right, quick charge. Let's go pick up another caviar delivery. This one has an $18 payout, but we kind of got a distance to go pick it up. And then we got to drop it off too. And then once we drop it off, I know for sure I'm probably not going to get anything in that area that that's coming back this area. But we'll see. I don't know. It's like lunchtime on a Sunday. And it looks like it's going to rain. There's no rain in the forecast. But it looks like it's going to rain. But there's no rain in the forecast. But once again, it looks like it's going to freaking rain. We'll see. So let's, I'm way out here by 3rd Street and Cesar Chavez and actually the Bayview Hunters Point area is just, if I keep going down 3rd Street, I have to keep going down like another two miles or something. It's kind of far down there. I'm not going to go down there because I want to go back to Soma. But I was uh, accepting this delivery crossing my fingers that I would get another one from this area that's going to Soma because that could work out pretty well. But now I definitely should probably take a train back because I only brought two batteries with me. The first battery is already dead. The second battery, I'm on two dots already. Um, usually I bring more, but I just didn't this time. Here's one, but it's leaving deep in the mission and I can't get that far in the mission. And it's not worth it. It's only like 14 bucks. So I guess I'm gonna wait and take the next train that's going back. Let's see, there's the next train that's coming back pretty soon. Yeah, uh, this is what I got going on now. Okay, good news. I just saw a train, but I don't know how I'm gonna get to it because I gotta cross the tracks and I gotta find a platform. I don't see a platform. And these trains in this neighborhood move really fast because there's nothing to block the train. Crap, I don't even see one. Is that a platform down there? Oh, it's like, three blocks down there holy cow i should have went to the other one back there whoa look at these big tracks i guess i can make it they just look really big i wouldn't want to hit that at 20 miles an hour all right, there we go. This is an old train too. I like the old trains because I can charge on the old train if the seat's available.
Okay, I'll pick it up the next order. I'll pick it up the next delivery from Project Juice. Shop, I have to charge like I, I, I'm at like 4% or 5% or something I have to at least get to 15% to get back to to get to get to get to where I'm going but as of now I am having well I'm actually at 6% so I'm having some curly fries these are really good smoking hot by the way let's make some of these this up here okay a little bit later now what have I been doing I had to um, get a little bit organized and I wanted to organize things like my tax stuff and things that I've collected from different countries and I had to you know do a couple writing things for all of this stuff and I, I found some money from Namibia in the mix of a whole bunch of paperwork I was going through this is money from Madagascar. I'm trying to figure out where did I get this from because I've never traveled to Madagascar before, but I have money from Madagascar. Hmm. I, th I think one of the girls I was talking to gave me this. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, actually, I know exactly where I got this from. This is really special. Put this close to my heart if you know what I'm saying. Okay guys, so I was going through a lot of the money that I have collected from different countries and oh my gosh, this stack is getting huge. It's not in any order, but it's just from pretty much every country. There's a handful of countries that I've visited that I did not collect money. For example, Sweden. I never got any money and uh, Switzerland is another country I, I didn't get any money from. I think Singapore is another country. I don't remember, remember seeing any bills from Singapore, but I probably have money in like another suitcase or another backpack or something somewhere else, but this is kind of cool. Maybe I'll make a YouTube video talking about this in the future, but yeah, it's kind of cool. It's, it's actually worth a lot of money. It's worth like about maybe $150 uh, from all the different countries and currencies for example the, the bank of namibia i think this is like seven dollars here and there's like a bunch of these in here and then of course the 10 euro five euro five australian dollar it, it hits the whole stack of money here I, I this one really brings back memories this one brings back more memories than anything else this is money from macedonia and whenever i look at this it just brings back a lot of memories because i this was a large portion of my life traveling was this country and this currency. And I think this is the country I spent the most time in out of every country I've visited. So yeah, that's something to think about. A little elevator action in this vlog. This building is one of the craziest buildings in the city. Like I think this building is sick actually. I, don't, I wouldn't want to live here, but I think it, it's decorated really cool. <laughs> Thanks, have a good night.